Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Crypto Explorer. In today's video, I'm going to show an alternative way to create an offline wallet for Ravencoin. So the other way I had before in another video, you had to download this offline, this paper wallet generator. And here we're going to create the wallet using our um, the Ravencoin QT wallet. So here we are at ravencoin.org. We're going to download the QT wallet and then here we're going to do Windows QT download and save and once it's done downloading I'm going to first open my network settings. I'm going to disconnect from the network. So here we go. Turn the Wi-Fi off. Check my Ethernet. Change my adapter settings. Disable. 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 So pretty much disabling anything from the network, being completely offline. I'm going to now run the Qt wallet. We'll select the defaults for, um, I'm going to click allow access, but there is no network. And as you can see, it's not going to sync. There's not, there's nothing to sync with. So if we go to file, receiving address, we can click create new and we can call it uh, cold, I'll just call it Raven cold storage. Click OK. The address has been generated over here. And let me see if I can move this. Click close. So we have our address. Actually, let me open Notepad here. So let's go back to here. Receive address. So we're completely offline. Copy address. Paste. So this is your public address. And this, we're going to type next underneath here, private key. So we now have uh, the public address for our Ravencoin wallet. And as you can see here, we're still offline. So let's copy this. And then go back to the Ravencore wallet. And let's just, over here you can see that it is not connected 17 weeks behind. Let's go to help, debug window. And then we're going to write the command dump priv key and then paste the address, our public address, and hit enter. And right here, this is the private key. So let's copy this and paste it. So these are the two things you need for cold storage. The public address, so you know where to send it, and the private key. At this point, we can close this all up. Um, there is a, now, if we go to percent, app data percent. We can see under Raven, the wallet file is here. Now this wallet file has not touched the internet. As long as we're still disconnected, none of that has touched the internet. So uh, if you want, we can completely delete that. And then now all we have is this. And what you can probably do, I would suggest um, you can either print it out, uh, put it someplace safe, but this could be used as your cold storage for your Raven, uh, Raven coins. Um, afterwards, if you want to retrieve coins from there, let's close this up. Start the Raven QT wallet again. As you can see, it's not going to sync. And if we go to file receiving addressing and 
there's no address in here, none at all. So we want to restore this wallet. We have the private key. So let's go back to our text file, copy this private key, and then go to help. Oops, not command line options, help, debug window, then console, and then import private key, and then paste it and hit enter. Now we should be able to go close this up, go to file, receiving address, and we will see this address is now here. And I'm just going to copy it and paste it down below and copy and paste this right here so we can see this is the exact same address. Anyway, this is just an alternative way to creating a cold storage wallet um, for Ravencoin if you don't, if you really don't want to download that uh, paper wallet generator and just wanted to do it re really quickly with uh, Ravencore um, QT wallet. Anyway, thanks for watching.